Here's another one that sold for $147.50. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Let's talk about postcards. So I did a deep dive research dig into eBay to figure out what sells on eBay. I am going to talk to you about different categories of postcards that are trending and which ones that you need to be on the lookout for when you're out and about. I'm also going to show you some of the key words that people use in titles to get more for their items. So let's dig right in and look at some vintage postcards. So the first one that I want to talk about is this Easter um, category or postcards that are Easter related. Now, Easter, from what I have, my research has shown, it's not one of the top holiday postcards. Um, I'm going to say, in my opinion, the Halloween postcards, wow, crazy money. But we're going to look at Halloween, Easter, Valentine's Day, and Christmas. And then we're going to go into some other types of postcards to look at. But I was just having a good time pulling up some of these really cool postcards that I wanted to share with you guys. So this one is this little, um, they're little bunnies. Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. And sometimes the backs are blank and sometimes they have writing and a stamp. You can sell them either way. And we're going to kind of go into that a little more as we uh, look at how some of these professional postcard sellers are selling things. This one um, had nine bids and it sold for $40.49 plus shipping. The next item here are these little kittens. And this one is a Valentine. Oh, you know what? That first one. That one's Easter. Yeah. Okay. This one's Valentine's Day. And this one sold for $59.99. And this is a card. And they have postcard in the title. I'm not sure why they did that unless they just did it to get people that were searching postcards to maybe see their item. I don't recommend doing that. This one I thought was a card. But it's actually not. Um on the other hand, just so you know, the little old vintage Valentines, the real old ones, the ones that are mechanical, those can be a bolo as well. With these types of items, you really just got to look things up. And one recommendation that I would have, if you don't have a store that specializes in postcards, I would start your postcard at like what you hope to get out of it. So I wouldn't start it at 99 cents on auction unless you know for sure it's a big money below. So for example, let's say I had this card. I would probably start this at $49.99 just to feel out the market if I thought it was valuable. I would not start it at $1.99 because you're only auctioning it off from three to 10 days. Those are your options. It's I think it's three, five, seven, and 10. So if somebody is not looking for that postcard in that time frame. You may only sell your item for $1.99. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. How do you do your auctions? That is what I do. And I don't sell postcards, but on the items that I have that are harder to find and I can't find any on eBay that I auction, I start at what I hope to get out of it. And if it doesn't sell, I put it on buy it now. All right, here is another Valentine's Day. And this one sold for $77.35. This one is actually a postcard. It does have some writing on the back. So just make sure that you show both sides of the card. I know a lot of people scan postcards in instead of taking pictures. If you guys sell postcards, let me know in the comments what you do. I have a stack of postcards and I think I have another stack somewhere else. I seem to buy them, but always chicken out because I'm like, well, I wonder if the stamp is valuable and I could be totally wrong. Maybe they're worth nothing. All right. This one, it seems to be that I kept seeing over and over this Uncle Sam Santa Claus, these postcards with Uncle Sam. So, oh, look at that. How'd that happen? How'd they do that? 
not bad crease at lower left corner. Paper sags under its own weight. So people that collect look for details like this. So I'm guessing this person probably sells um, postcards. We'll go into their store here in a second. Hold it to the light. So see, they even wrote, hold it to the light. So I'm like, how are they doing that? Well, they're holding it to the light. $188.50. So hold to light HTL is what you would want to put in your title. So if you click on see other items, you can go into their store and see that, you know, they sell a lot of ephemera and postcards and stuff like that. So let's look at the next one here. Santa Claus Christmas hold to light postcard. And this might be, nope, this one's a different seller. Well, there's only one photo. Let's scroll down. Sometimes, well, that's so weird. Um, click on the frog. Huh. It's a hold to light also, but they didn't show it. I know sometimes when people use like a secondary uh, listing thing to help them, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It will take their photos out afterwards. Not like a cross posting service. This is something different. I'm not sure what it's called. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. But anyway, this says 1908 mistletoe cap girl angel whispers in ear. Look at that. I mean, you got to admit that's pretty cool. I'd love to see the back of it and I'd love to see it light up because it says hold to light. Here's another one of those. Um, this one says window postcard. So Uncle Sam Santa bag of toys at window postcard. Another thing I've heard is to not use symbols and like uh, any punctuation in your title, but they used it and they got $331 for their items. So it did not hurt their listing at all. And on the back here, you can see it has writing on it and it has the date and a stamp. And it still sold for $331. And it looks like they're using, uh, I don't understand this, a dollar shipping. So would they be sending it in just like an envelope without tracking? Because I would think you would want to ensure that. Maybe that's just what they charge their buyer and then they cover the, the upcharges of the insurance and stuff. Here's another one, Uncle Sam Christmas postcard. These just seem to go wild. So if you ever see Santa in this 4th of July looking outfit, definitely look it up. $380 on that one. This one is a vintage postcard of Merry Christmas, Santa and Polar Bear. You can see the back is blank. And you can also see it says Domestic Canada, Great Britain, Germany, one cent. So you know it is old old, old Christmas series number five, five, five. So, oh, I'm sorry. That one went for $405 on auction. All right. So this one is another Easter. Now this one was one of the higher Easter solds. I'm not sure what makes certain cards go for more. I'm just going to show you some cards and give you a little tips from what I am seeing. I am not an expert in postcards. I don't sell postcards. I'm, I chicken out, like I said earlier, but I am definitely intrigued by them. And if I found some Halloween, I'd probably take it. I'd probably try those. But this one is even dated March 31st, 1915. It's even, it's so hard to read. I don't even know if I could read that. It's probably one of those, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the pens, those special pens that they used to write with. This one sold for $201.48 and it says votes for women. I don't know what that means either. If it's something that's written on the back here. So the content of the actual thing, it could be the artist of that designed the card that could bring up the value. Lots of variables for sure. Now this is a set of six. And you can see these also have, um, they have been used. Now this might be because of the artist, Catherine Gassaway, um, Raphael Tuck. And these sold for $274 and it's for the lot. 
uh, vintage fantasy Easter card. Now this one only went for $27.66, but if you can pick something like this up really, really cheap, um, $27.66 is a nice profit if you can pick something up for a quarter or sometimes even less when you pick these up in bulk buys. Again, may have done better if they would have started the auction higher. And it says hand colored. So I'm not sure what that means. Let's see what they started the auction at. If you ever want to know how they started the auction, you can go in and you look down here at the starting price. It will also tell you how many bids the item had and how many unique bidders. And if you click show automatic bids, it's going to pop in there all those automatic bids that were. Um, were skipped. And then if you hide them, it makes it kind of easier to see here. And then, you know, it was a seven day auction and when the listing ended. So those are good tools to use when you're researching auctions. Here's another one. This is an Easter, um, another Easter greetings uh, postcard from 1913. Happy Easter to all from your friend. So it's got the stamp, it's used, still sold for $51. Again, not a huge money bolo, but geez, $51. But there's some that if you list them at a dollar, they're going to sell for a dollar. So definitely do your research if you find postcards. And it is tough to research them. You will find that people that sell postcards are super knowledgeable in that area. And they have taught themselves what to look for. They know what to look for. They know how to list the items. They specialize in those. And I'm going to show you a couple um, stores here as we move a little bit further into this video. All right, Halloween, early 20th century Halloween postcard. I love the Halloween postcards. They are just, so many of them are a bolo and they just go for crazy money. So if you see Halloween and they're old, definitely pick them up if you can get them for a good price. And even if they're gonna cost you some, do your research while you're there looking and you may want to pay up a little for these. This card sold for $217.50. This one sold for $227.50. Just crazy, right? Now, this is a book of, um, it's a catalog of Halloween postcards, $538. And it shows you, I, I'm guessing it has like maybe different sets. I'm not really sure like a price guide. How cool is that? The most complete catalog of Halloween postcards ever published. $538. That is incredible. Let's see what they started it at. Let's see if they had any idea. They started this at $9.95. That is awesome. Here's another one that sold for $147.50. Oh, is it like... um? It's a mechanical card. <gasps> okay. So I've seen these with Valentine's cards, but never a postcard. Do you see the little hinge or the little circle thing? You can move it up and down. Is that cool or what? And you can see right here that it does um, have writing on the back. I love the mechanical items. This one is from 1911. It is antique. It only sold for $91. So uh, which I say only because some of them have gone for crazy money, but $91 is still fantastic. Here is a lot, a collection of 16 Halloween postcards, clap saddle. Um, they are, looks like they all have writing on them and these sold for $192.50. These to me do not look as old, but I'm not hundred percent sure. It doesn't really say. Okay, this is a watercolor postcard and the horse is here. It's never been used and just a really, really cool um, picture. And that sold for $227.50. So I, again, I, PC postcard, okay. It's usually the content what's on there and what people are looking for. Here's another Halloween, 1908, sold for $61. Looks like, I don't know if that's, is it supposed to be discolored like that? Or it could be from, you know, just storage over the years. It's kind of got some discoloration on the back. 
and the front there. Maybe it was in, it looks like it was in a book and it had the corners covered. So it discolored it a little bit. So our, if you are a postcard collector, how important is condition to you? What really drives you to buy something and spend up on it? So that's for the people that collect postcards to let us know in the comments. This one's pretty cool. It's a panorama postcard. So it's long and it's got um, like the landscape and the housing. Uh, and it says Korea, a hotel advertising, $600. Wow, that's incredible. All right, this one is Clab Crawl Ocean City, Maryland. And it's in color. It's not super, super old like some of the other ones but it's advertising for this restaurant. So somebody that's looking for this restaurant, it's got these cool cars in the front. You never really know why somebody's gonna uh, pick something up. Not a whole lot of uh, in the title. So I'm guessing it was somebody looking for this restaurant. This one sold for $76. Vintage 1910 Detroit Tiger Ralph Works postcard, $718.88. This is what it says down here. And on the back, it has never been used. Now watch. If you're saying, yeah, right, let me show you how to check. If you go into the seller's feedback and you type in, we'll put tiger. Maybe if we spell it right, tiger. You will see right here, great seller feedback was left for this item. The purchase, the buyer, the purchaser, had over a thousand feedback and $718. Now I will say that a lot of times collectors, for some reason they don't leave feedback. Um, so this is not always the best way to know. Another way you can go, uh, you can know is you can go into their active listings and see if the item appears again, like they relisted it. And sometimes when you click on the sold, it will say item was relisted. So those are some ways that you can research, but None of them are 100% foolproof, but those are just some additional additional ways there. Now, you see here, this one has a water stamp. And I thought that you weren't allowed to use water stamps, but for the postcards, it seems that people do use them. So let me know in the comments um, if anybody has any details on that. I don't use uh, water stamps. So, I mean, basically what they're doing is they're protecting it so that people don't steal their photo steal their image, um, which is understandable because people do do that. And they're not going to do that if it says, um, well, I mean, I guess these, I don't know. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. I, I guess I, they could still copy it and try to sell it, I guess. I'm not sure. This one sold for 339. It says bird's eye view and it says RPPC and I real photo postcard. That's what that stands for. Real photo postcard. And it says, please check scans of both sides of card for condition. So yeah, this person scans their items. And if you go in to their solds, this is their actual store. And you can see they have watermarked all of their items. I think that's what it's called um, with this right here. And let's look at some of these big money ones. We've got, um, again, real uh, photo postcard. So I'm guessing that some of those real photo postcards, that may bring the value up. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. This one says Gilbert, Nevada, Ghost Town, uh, Nevada, Gold Circle. I mean, $688, $666 plus shipping, Ghost Town. So these ghost town, it looks like that is a good keyword. Um, and these all seem to be in Nevada. This one is in California. Again, real photo postcard, $520. Advertising pocket mirror. These are interesting. So that's another thing to be on the lookout for. These old pocket mirrors. Check that out. 500, 482. This one right here is a cartoon postcard that went for 481. I'd like to know where they get all these amazing postcards. But just some other things to look for. These advertising mirrors are super cool. Bird's eye view. 
you can see that they use certain uh, keywords often. The railroad, uh, railroad postcards seem to do well. So we'll just kind of scroll through here. I sorted high to low. I did not put postcard in, but that's mostly what they sell. Looks like these postcards and, ah, and mirrors. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool store. All right, the next item is this real photo postcard baseball team. So anything that is baseball team, sporting events, things that people could be looking for that maybe they had a family member that was a part of. But again, these are actual real photo post postcards, 145 on those. This one says real photo postcard, rare premier tattoo artists, Prof Piercy Walters skull tattoo, old postcard. So old and original postcard. This card has many faults, wear some damage, and is being sold as is. Now, I did check the feedback on this. No feedback was left. That doesn't mean it didn't sell. Um, let's go in and see if it was possibly relisted because $825 seems crazy. But I'm looking right here, and it looks like this says $460. First off, let's see what they started it at. They started the auction at $49.99. Let's go into here. Or no, wait, I checked the feedback. It wasn't there. View seller store. Actually, yeah, let's put in tattoo. And if it um, is there, if it was relisted, it would be relisted. And I don't see anything. I, and I still see it in their solds. So I'm going to say that was a good sale because if it were me and my item sold and the person didn't pay, the first thing I'm going to do is relist that item. Okay, here was that uh, cartoon postcard. We saw that on the other one. It's the one that's marked across here. Okay, and here is another one from that same seller. I mean, they just have tons of postcards. And this one, it seems another category that does pretty well is amusement parks. Um, I've seen quite a few of those. So beaches, amusement parks, different places that you travel to. This one sold for $194.50. This one is a real photo postcard and it is a shipwreck, which, you know, could appeal to people who collect things in that category. That would be something really interesting to have in their collection. $261.99 plus shipping. Two young boys seated on the quarter moon. Real photo picture, 206.78. Now that's just a fun photo. I mean, you've got the moon there. That That's a neat photo. I get that. People who are into like the moon and I don't know. <laughs> real an or antique real photo postcard, J.D. Clark's store, Richford, New York. So this is just an old storefront photo and it's turned into a postcard and this sold for $87 plus shipping. This one is another RPPC. Great to use in your title if you're um, trying to not take up a ton of characters, but this person put both. And that's actually how I knew what that stood for. But the railroad, uh, railroad, railroads, amusement parks, special locations, holidays, all of those postcards are what you're looking for. 288.63 on that one. The next one is over 800 antique postcards. So this is probably a reseller that's buying this and they're going to take these and they are going to sell them individually more than likely. This sold for $320 plus shipping. A lot of people don't want to mess with selling items individually and they will sell them in bulk on eBay. So definitely if you're sourcing, it's not a bad place to look. This one says private bathing beach. So another just really old, um, really old uh, picture. And it's got, you know, this is really old and you don't see this anymore. So look at their fancy dresses at the beach. How funny is that? $90 on that one. 
Now, this one says, do not copy. Again, I didn't think you were allowed to do that, but maybe there's different rules for different categories. And this one sold for $788. And it's another railroad, so railroad station. Now, I'm going to take you into this seller's store, and I'm just going to show you some of their active auctions. These are active auctions currently going on right now, and they all say do not copy. So I'm guessing if it was a problem, they would have had a problem by now. So it's probably allowed, but I don't know that for sure. I've also wondered with the people that don't pay for photo room, how it says on the bottom photo room, if anybody's had any issues with that. I pay for it, so I don't have that, but I see it a lot in photos. So maybe it's maybe it's not a thing anymore. All right, here we go. Here are their active auctions. So they must start all of their postcards on auction because this is their entire store. They do have some other things and some of them are buy it now. Let's see, let's go to auction. And here are the postcards and most of them have bids, but they have two to three days left on them. So, um, Still some time left to, to get some more bids there. All right, let's see. Some of these don't. It looks like they're starting them at $9.95. Okay, let's go into their solds. Are you ready to be floored? Look at this. Railroad station, 788. Railroad station, 761. Railroad station, 688. This one is a amusement park, 678 newspaper um i don't know what that is like a maybe a business 443 these are all real uh real photo postcards another train one 420 railroad 413 railroad 405 so just incredible right here's some sports and uh, sports are another good one uh railroad Railroad, hotel, railroad, Big Ten school. It looks like uh, the band, like the marching band there. This has got a horse in it. I mean, we're still in the $200 range. So just incredible. Incredible. Okay, let's keep going here. This one is another one of theirs. This one didn't sell for much. It only sold as much. It only sold for 115, which is crazy. Another train one there. And you can see the train with the smoke coming out. Super cool. This one says postcard Gulf Air Airlines. So an airline photo. I can understand um, people being interested in the airline stuff. Um, I've seen uh, like cups and other advertising things that have done well for airlines also. This one is a drugstore soda fountain with Moxie sign, real post, uh, real photo postcard. And I looked up Moxie and I guess it's a drink. So it must be like a drink they had back in the day that we don't have anymore. I don't know. I wasn't around in 1909. So let me know if anybody knows in the comments. That sold for $295.22 plus shipping. Here's another railroad that I think I showed you already for $688. And $78 on that one. And this one right here, it says West Virginia Hayes Drugstore. So this is a drugstore. This one has some color to it. So probably not as old, but it's only, uh, it only went for $177.50. <laughs> Just incredible, right? Okay, this one is another railroad for $504. Whoa, sorry, $504.99. So let me show you here, vintage post card. Um, let's do Halloween. And I do wanna show you just so you're not thinking every single postcard goes for really crazy money. Let's go to solds and let's, let's first go into list view. All right, so here are ended recently. So we're just going to look at some of the ended recently. $14.99, $53, 59 Here's a lot of 6 
63.75. You know what? Let me go to auction. I like looking at auctions because I feel like bids show um, interest. Like this one only had one bid and went for $14.99. So let me zoom in. 20 bucks on that one. So they're not all going to be big money. That one's $90.99 on that. I, I would say, you know, the older ones are going to go for more. The ones with the cooler graphics are going to go higher. This one's, I'm surprised this one didn't go higher. It's at $16.50. So again, auction may not always be the best, um, the best option. You know, start those auctions high if you have these. Also, they're probably going to go for more um, around probably September, maybe even August. You may get a little bit of a bump um, with people wanting those items, but I do believe that they sell all year round. So you can see lots of low ones. And let's just type in vintage postcard. And let me show you just how low some of them can go. All right. So here we go. We're just going to go auction style sold recently. So these are people that probably started their auctions at 99 cents or probably 99 cents. And this is, you know, this looks old and is interesting. A good wife and health are a man's best wealth. Only sold for 99 cents. All of these are, they're not as old. You know, you got a squirrel here, $1.29. But definitely the older ones, the categories, the real photo postcards, the theme parks and railroads, that Santa, what, what did they call him? He had on like the 4th of July outfit. Uncle Sam, Santa seems to be really collectible. But they're not all created equal. Here's one for Thanksgiving. I didn't look up Thanksgiving cards, but it only went for five bucks. Let's do this. Let's go sold's highest first. Highest first. That one says 1500 but um, it only had one bid. So you guys can go and search and see some additional things that I didn't pull up everything. That one says Campbell's Soup signed art. So if things are signed by the artist, I mean, that makes sense. But look, this is all, it's an album and people will sell the albums and people will buy them and then they will create listings, single listings. Look at this, $350 for a thousand. So definitely uh, some cool stuff there. Some of them are controversial. That is why um, they go for more. Some things will get pulled. You cannot list certain things. Uh, you will see them from time to time when you're searching solds, just scanning through like I am. Um, I actually have videos on items to not bolo for, items to not sell on eBay because they're either a Vero, people got them taken down, people got suspended, people lost their accounts. Um, I think I have six of those videos and I'm going to have more of those coming soon. What I do is I reach out to my Facebook group members and then I look at the comments from my other videos and I create new videos. And these are current things that are being like issues that are taking place on eBay currently. So there is a Vero list you can look at and it is massive. Um, but I want to know the things that are affecting resellers currently in the market right now. So I'm going to keep updating those videos. Uh, my channel is normally about items to be on the lookout for, but I did start that, I don't know, two or three months ago. And it's people really like it because I think it's helping them. I've had people say, oh my goodness, I have one of those listed. I took it down or I wish I would have seen this last week because I just had this happen to me. So um, I think it's helpful for resellers to know what not to list also. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Again, I don't sell postcards. Um, I have some, but I'm just haven't listed them. And I want to pick categories that I don't know a lot about and I like to research. And, you know, from my research, I can show you things that I notice, trends that I notice, like the railroads, the amusement parks, the holidays, um, 
And what makes things sell for more? The real photo postcard. We all know now that we can put our PPC in our title as an abbreviation for that, which I didn't know before I did this video. So I, I may have heard of it before and just forgot, but um, because I don't list those and do it on a regular basis, it's not super familiar and common to me that I'm going to be like, oh, you should do this. But um, doing things and hearing things over and over help you retain that information. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you like this style of video, you can check out my playlist. Um, it's called Category Videos, I think, Bolo Category Videos. I have been doing those since pretty much I started the channel. So they go way back. Um, if you go way back, some of the information may not be as relevant because that was I started the channel about three years. Actually, I think it's a little over three years now. So definitely uh, do your research whenever you're uh, out looking for the items that you see in the videos because things trend and trends change. I know there's some things that are on TikTok right now that there was um, an example, uh, a plush Build-A-Bear and it was a cat and it went viral on TikTok and the prices on eBay were crazy because of that. So those items were trending for a period of time. They still sell for good money, but they don't sell for what they were selling for when that was hot on TikTok. So TikTok, you never know what the next trend's going to be. So it could bring up the value of your item. Yes, these are unlisted jeans behind me. I used to be a full-time clothing reseller and I switched to hard goods and I have tons of clothes that still need listed. And instead of listing them, I just use them as my background. So if you're wondering, this is not a curtain. Thank you guys so much for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and another video here. If you feel like this information was helpful and you want to share it with a friend, that would be awesome. And thanks for watching.